Cobb the Drummer and the Great Gas Bar in the same YouTube video. What is this, a crossover episode? Yes, that's right. We have an especially epic episode today for you, the viewer who has been requesting 7 over 8 for a long time now. And usually we count 7 over 8 with multiples of 2s and 3s. That's one of the easiest ways to do it. And the example being 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Now, our first example for you is Led Zeppelin's The Ocean, which actually alternates between a measure of 4-4 and a measure of 7-8. So that really gives you that beat skipping feel. Jitter jolt, jitter jolt, jitter jolt. We've done four already, but now we're steady, and then they went. One, two, three, R.I.P. John Bonham and long live Led Zeppelin. Hashtag save John Bonham's soul. Now, that was an idea that was alternating between a measure of 4-4 and a measure of 7-8. Some people even like to say that that is 15 over 8 for some people. But most people would notate that with a measure of 4-4 and a measure of 7-8. Now, what about ideas that are solely in 7-8? Well, this next one is one of my favorites. It's actually my favorite Radiohead song of all time. It's 2 plus 2 equals 5, and it's the first half of the song where the guitar is playing this awesome musical idea that is in 7 over 8. Now, this next groove in 7 over 8 is by the progressive rock band Rush. And no, we're not talking about Tom Sawyer. We are talking about La Villa Strangiato. And if I pronounce that wrong, maybe there's an Italian YouTuber out there who can tell me how to pronounce it the correct way. <coughs> Davey 504. <coughs> and the reason why I picked this song to demonstrate for you is because the drum beat is actually one of my favorite drum beats of all time. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Our final example for you today is a song that's completely in 7 over 8 from start to finish. The other songs that we played for you earlier have parts that are in 4-4 and other time signatures, but of course, leave it up to one of the greatest film composers of all time, Mr. Hans Zimmer, to bring you a song, a composition, a masterpiece that's in 7 over 8 from start to finish, and that is Wonder Woman's theme from the movie Batman versus Superman, and it goes a little bit something like this. Rockin' roll. 
We hope you enjoyed this episode of CompTV where we discuss the time signature 7 over 8. Please give this video a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and give it up for the great Gaspar for jamming on some 7 over 8 with me. You can actually check out his YouTube channel, Tyler Gaspar Productions, for more awesome guitar music that he actually composes himself. And if you want to take this one step further, if you want to learn any of these and you can't find the notation for any of the drum beats that I played, you can actually visit me at patreon.com forward slash Cobb the Drummer and subscribe to get access to all the sheet music to lots of the stuff that I do here on the YouTube channel as well as a weekly live stream where you get to talk to me and ask me about music and just hang out and chill. So again, thank you so much for being a part of the channel and for supporting me and Tyler and rock and roll.